Something quite interesting to consider is why do some monopolies make losses? Why do these firms exist? Well, it's odd because when we draw normal monopoly diagrams, we always assume that there are super normal profits being made. But actually, you can get some monopolies that make losses. On a diagram, what does that look like? Well, you draw your AR and MR curves as normal, but then you draw your average cost curve to be above the average revenue curve, which means that at profit max levels, where we see Q1 quantity and P1 price being charged, the average cost is actually greater than the average revenue, which means that there is a loss uh, made equal to this blue shaded area. But why can that happen? Well, the best way to understand this is to take an example. And the best example I can think of is of Bugatti, and when, especially when they made the Veyron. Now, everybody knows the Veyron is what well, still is the world's fastest road car. Incredible car to look at, brilliant car. Yet, it was a massively loss-making car. Why was that? Well, the Veyron cost a huge amount to make. It cost, I think it was around £5 million just to make one car. And the problem was, there was no demand out there to recoup those costs. There was no demand to actually make any money on that car. Who's going to pay £5 million or more to buy the Veyron? In fact, not many people were, able, were, were willing to. So in that sense, demand didn't exist at a level to recoup costs. Therefore, losses were being made on every single car sold. So the producers said, well, actually, the whole point of the Veyron wasn't to make profits. It was just to test engineering to see whether our engineers can come up with something so special as something record-breaking, which they did in the end. But anyway, that was one example of a firm with some element of monopoly power, a very unique product, not able to make any types of supernormal profits at all. In fact, losses made because demand simply did not exist at a level to recoup costs. Costs are much higher than potential demand, hence losses being made, even though monopoly power did exist. An interesting scenario. See you next time.